Hello each and everyone. Today we are going to study about the watt meter. As you can see on the table, we have the watt meter here. This one is the cut section, as you can see, and this one is the compact one. As you know, the watt meter is used to measure the VI cos phi, or you can say the real power, or you can say the active power. This can measure single phase as well as the three phase power. Today we will have an interactive session about the watt meter. With me, you can see here is the OSR. Let us start this session. OSR, please give the brief introduction about the watt meter, please. As Mr. Adil has already discussed that we have two watt meters, one is the cut section and another is the compact section of the watt meter. So from construction point of view, if we look uh, uh, in the watt meter, we have actually two coils. As sir has already told you that it's used to measure the active power, you can see the VI cos by in single phase as well as the three phase circuits. Right, depending upon the type of load you are connecting. So from construction point of view, it has two coils inside it. One coil, which is also called the series coil, it's connected in series with the load. Right, this coil is called the current coil, and it is divided into two half sections. You can see one section on this on this, is on this side, and another section is on this side. If the total number of turns in this coil is n. So it means that n by 2 turns are on this side, n by 2 turns are on this side, right? And this is the stationary coil as well. And another coil in this uh, watt meter we are having, which is called the pressure coil or voltage coil, right? And it's moving coil, right? So what actually happens, this coil is connected across the mains, right? And this, this, and this, Series coil or the current current coil is connected in series with the load and this is connected across the mains. So what actually happens when the when we connect any load, the current in the current coil right uh, sets up its own magnetic field and the current in this pressure coil sets up its own magnetic field and these two fields start interact as a result of which a net torque gets developed on this pressure coil right as the needle is uh, coupled with this pressure coil depending upon the power consumed by the load right the needle will show the deflection as you can see 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 we have this needle and the scale depending upon the type of the load and the load current or you can see the amount of power consumed by the given load the needle will right show that much of power consumed by the load as sir has given you the brief introduction about the construction of the watt meter now you can see the circuit diagram here you can see we have four uh, connections m l c and v actually we have two coils one is the pressure coil and another one is the current coil as you can see the current coil has number less number of turns and it has two connections m and l and the pressure coil has more number of turns and it is also moving coil and it has two connections all as well c and v v is connected between the load and the supply side and the M and C are shorted of the pressure and the current coil and L is connected on the load side of the uh, current coil. As it has four connections M, L, C and V, in the actual watt meter you can see we have more number of these connections. Well sir, can you explain what is the reason behind this? We have Here we have only four connections and we have, here we have eight connections. What is the reason behind Actually, this? Actually there is no nothing uh, confusion or uh, getting confusion. In this, actually, they, they are the voltage multipliers and current multipliers. Despite being having these four terminals, M, L, C, and V, right? We are having some additional terminals here. Actually, they are the voltage and current multipliers. Right? I can show you in this uh, cut section what these voltage and current multipliers actually are. Basically, uh, they are used actually increase the range of your watt meter readings, right? Suppose if you will see this watt meter here, the maximum scale that it's showing it's 750 watts, right? Okay. But actually, this watt meter can read 750 multiplied by eight, right? That means you can, uh, if, uh, if, if you you are saying that uh, this is given uh, yeah, this, this is actually shown in the table, yeah. right? How we can uh, connect these multipliers, right? And how we can choose the multiplier. You can see the maximum multiplier which I can choose is eight, and I will okay. show you. I will show you, and I will tell you uh, which multiplier to connect and how to connect, right, and how to get the uh, required multiplying factor. You can see from voltage point of view, you can see there are three voltage multipliers. One is at 75 volts, 150 volts, and 300. You can see internally what actually happens, right? This 70. If if you are connecting, first I will show you the terminals. You can see this M and L. Right in between this M and L, I'm having a stationary coil that's called the current coil divided into two sections. Half section N by two turns on this side and N by two turns on this side. Right? And in between C and V and this common terminal and V. 
right? And it depends upon which voltage multiplier I'm connecting. And in between C and V, I'm having a pressure coil. In between C and V, I'm having a pressure coil. In between C and V, I'm having a pressure coil. Right? Why different these? As I already told that, actually, they are the voltage multipliers. How they are connected? Actually, if I am using this 75 volt multiplier, actually, there is a resistance connect R and it is in series. In, in series with this potential coil, this movable coil, right? If so, here from this voltage point of uh, voltage multiplier plus, uh, point of view, the, here the voltage, here the multiplier is one, right? If I am uh, using this 150 uh, as a voltage multiplier here, two. Uh, uh, but you can see, sir, the, here are the connectors in between. So has has this has this just to do anything with this? What? Actually, they, these are the voltage multipliers and these are the current multipliers. As you can see here, these are the current multipliers, right? Okay, fine. They both they both actually when I am saying uh, that I am measuring power, power is nothing but the product of that power uh, which is the torque developed in this uh, in this uh, uh, the torque developed in this coil which is actually proportional to the power which is nothing but the product of torque is proportional to the product of V voltage. And current is the current coil, yes, right? Sir. The overall product that we get from the multiplying factor is the uh, effect of this voltage multiplier as well as the uh, as well as so the current. If multiplier. we are connecting this right? horizontally, then see, see, if if we are connecting from current multiplier from point of view, if yes. I am connecting a single multiplier, right? That it means that whole of the coil is using uh, whole of the current coil is in in uh, the circuit, okay. right? Uh, the number of the multiplying factor from this point of view is one, right? And if I am connecting this. 75 right so in this point if i am connecting this multi current in this arrangement right and voltage at 75 the multiplying factor will be 1 into 1 that is total 1 if, the, if that time for example if reading is 300 watts it will, be, it will be 300 watts yeah. right if i am using this single multiplier and voltage multiplier at, at 150 at that time the multiplying factor will be 1 multiplied by and from this here the multiplier factor is 2 okay, so, so total reading if that, i read it will be 300 then i have to multiply it by 2 by 600 right. similarly if i am connecting that voltage multiplier at this terminal that's 300. 300 here the multiplying factor is 4 here the multiplying factor is 1 but right. overall effective multiplying factor becomes 4 into 1 that's 4 so if my reading is 300 my overall total reading will be 4 into 200 watts oh. right similarly i can connect this multiplying factor vertically vertical like this like this so i am connecting both the current multipliers right so in this arrangement if i have connected it on now on 75 Right. Then, see, from this point of view, the current multipliers both are connected. The one multiplier was giving a multiplying factor of one. Two multipliers, uh, current multipliers will give the multiplying factor of two. Right. If I am using voltage from voltage so multiplier point of seventy five, so total will be two oh, into one. Yes, exactly. The multiple total multiplier will be if two. If that will be on three hundred, that will be three hundred into two. Yes. If I am connecting uh, the current multiplier in this arrangement and voltage multiplier, right? 150 the total multiplying will be 2 multiplied by exactly. 2 that will be 4, four total multiplying factor will be 4 my reading will be my 300 it will get multiplied factor of 4 that's 1200 watts fine right so if i am multiplying factor if i am uh, connecting this current multiplier in this array that's the 2 is the multiplying factor in this arrangement right uh, if i am connecting voltage multiplier at 300 so here the multiplying factor is 4 in this arrangement the current multiplying factor is 2 the overall factor multiplying factor will be 4 into 2 that's 8 so total reading if your uh, needle is deflecting 300 watts the total multiplying factor will be 308 so here you can see that the maximum if your uh, load is uh, uh, can major major that's 750 watts right but you have connected 300 and for both the current multiplier the overall range which you can increase using these multipliers is 750 multiplied Multiply by 8 parts. Oh, that's good. Right? Very important. So, you don't need to see this table. You can remember it by this from construction as you can see. Here, from voltage multiplier, it's R, it's 2R, it's 3R. Here, multiplying factor is 1. Here, it's 2. Here, it's 4. From uh, current multiplier uh, point of view, if I'm connecting both the multipliers, multiplying factor is 2. If I'm connecting single multiplier, multiplying factor is 1. So, the combination will become if I am connecting a single multiplying factor, the combination can become 1, 2, and 4. Fine. If I am connecting both the multipliers, the combination and can become 2, 2 4, 8. eight. Mm -hmm. Right? The combinations can become like this. 1, 2, two, 4, four, two, four, two, four and eight. 8. Right? Good. So depending upon the circuit condition, the operating voltage, the load current, then accordingly you will set so the can this watt meter measure uh, this uh, three-phase power? Yeah, you can use that. Uh, you can use this watt meter to measure three, but that depends upon the uh, type of load. If you have a balanced load, right, you can connect it in one phase, in two phases, 
Like if you have a balance of load, you can see uh, then you can multiply that uh, reading by overall three. Is there? I have heard about two watt, watt meter method. Is, is there? Yeah. Have we got this uh, that apparatus here? In the in that method, we use these two similar watt meters, right? Two single phase watt meters in two phase. Yes. Right. One is measuring uh, one part, another is measuring part. I think we will depend upon the load. The other other experiment. Also. Right. Yeah. Then doing the necessary mathematics yeah. to get the manipulated so total power. So this is the part first. But if you are measuring Power in three phase circuit using a single watt meter. Then at, at that time, it is necessary to you have must have a three balanced load. Okay. Into watt meter method, if it is not necessary, you can have an unbalanced load. Unbalanced load. We will yeah. discuss. We will discuss that. In. Okay. This was very informative, isn't it? Yes. Thank sir. you. Thank you.